if anybody has seen us more than once, they know this isn't the team that we are or could be. To be honest, we didn't play very well. And that's not um, to discredit Bluffton. They played amazing defense. They did the necessary things to put us um, in positions to uh, not do as well as we wanted to. So, um, you know, congratulations to them. They played uh, very well um, going into the match. We did not um, fear them. We didn't, but we respected them. And that's the mentality that we have when we play whoever we're playing. Um, but unfortunately, we didn't play our best tonight. Lexi, I'll go to you next. Uh, you you run the offense as a setter. You guys really um, seem to respond twice from adversity, really, in the second and then the fourth sets. Um, you know, talk about what that says about the team and then some of the things that uh, helped you guys get back into the match and on both occasions. I think we have a really young team. Um, mm -hmm. But that honestly means nothing because we respond extremely well when we call a timeout or need to turn those points. Like you said, we really responded and got up, and not one person thought we weren't going to win. Um, we really know when the light switch needs to flick on and when we need to play together as a team to get those points, and tonight it just wasn't enough, not at the right time. And Narissa, you know, uh, um, in a five-set match, it's often uh, in that fifth set is really tense, a lot of emotion. Um, you know, what was it like to play out there in, in an NCAA tournament type of atmosphere in, in a fifth set? For me personally? Yeah, yeah. Um, to be honest, I wasn't very nervous. Mm -hmm. um, for myself, I was pretty confident, especially in what Lexi has been giving me all day. Um, I've been getting, like, beautiful set so as long as the ball got up there I was really confident into <clears throat> what I could do personally but um, it doesn't really matter what one person does but it's a team effort and I think we all just we fell short a little bit today mm -hmm. um, but like Lumpy said also anyone who's watched us play um, more than this match you would know that um, there definitely could have been a different outcome and we had a lot more to show today than we did. We could have um, brought it a little bit more intense than we did bring it. Um, that being said though, as a senior, we both can agree that we're really proud of what we've kind of left behind and we're really proud of what our team is gonna become next year. So hopefully they get farther than we did. Coach, we'll go back to you. Uh, you know, she touched on the little legacy left by the senior class with both of these players as seniors. Uh, a couple comments on just their the class and their accomplishments and the, and the legacy that they've left. Oh, sure. I mean, we talked about this in the locker room. Um, I think there was a little bit of unknowing going into our season because we lost three seniors that were outstanding um, to player of the years in our conference, um, a hitter and a defensive player. So we knew going in that we were going to have to have freshmen and some people on our team that didn't play that much as freshmen last year have to f uh, fill those roles. Um, you know, we have our four, we have four seniors, um, really only one a junior. Um, so we knew that we'd have to have these guys mentor the freshmen, sophomores in, in um, really key positions. Um, and they did that. Um, we beat a lot of really good teams this year. You know, we can always um, be proud of the fact that we were co-champs in the WIAC. There's a lot of teams that weren't here. Um, you know, and I am an emotional coach um, in both that I love these guys and also that I'm competitive. And so that's, that was the frustrating thing because um, you know, our, our three seniors that were playing tonight, and we have another senior that played a lot, but just not that much tonight, but they just were laying it on the line. And we, we just didn't really have maybe a group of younger players tonight that maybe were a little scared and, and didn't necessarily play their best. And, you know, <laughs> you kind of live and die with some of the younger players. And, but there's other times where they were our stars, you know, when we were 
beating some great teams this year. So tonight just wasn't their night. And, um, you know, our middles did a great job. But then um, when, the, when I guess when it was, the chips were down, we didn't get enough kills mm -hmm. when it comes to it. Yeah. If you got anything, Ricky? No, you asked all the things that I was going to. Perfect. All right, well, thank you. Thank Again, you. And congratulations. Thank Thanks. You.